everybody, it's me, Alex Axe, also known as Alex Wells, and uh, it's Wednesday, January 3rd, 2018. I will actually, like, remember that it's a new year now because fuck 2017 and we're never, ever, ever, ever getting back together. Um, anyway, no, that the year is, that year is gone, that terrible, horrible year is gone, and unless somebody invents time travel, sorry, that was my phone, I'm just gonna put my phone on silent for now, um, but, uh, basically, so if somebody invents time travel, I, I think that we need to have them assassinated just in case they, they, like, bring back 2017 somehow, is all I'm trying to say, um, and, <laughs> sorry, uh, I was actually supposed to do a vlog yesterday, and, um, I forgot because I accidentally had yesterday off. And what I mean by that is, um, I think that I told work that I would be back as of January 2nd, but maybe I didn't. But they thought that I wasn't going to be back until the 3rd, so I wasn't on the schedule yesterday, and it got all complicated, and then I was like... Oh, well, you know, if I'm gonna, like, there, right, this time of year there isn't that much work anyway, so I was like, you know, I'll just enjoy an extra day off, and that'll be great. And so I enjoyed an extra day off and did not accomplish nearly even half of my to-do list, including not cleaning the bathrooms. I mean, cleaning the bathrooms was on my to-do list. Not cleaning the bathrooms is what I actually accomplished, um, but I picked up some freelance work, which is pretty fun, which I'm actually having some fun with, and the person who hired me is actually paying me like I'm a professional, which is such a lovely surprise! Um, so that, that was my yesterday, and I just totally spaced that, you know, technically I was back, and so that I should have vlogged, but I forgot, so. And then today, I, you'll notice that I am not sitting on a construction site in my truck, because today, as my first day back from work, was of course absolutely freaking brutal. Oh, there's an Amber Alert, which it's in Southern Colorado, so there's not really anything I can do about it. But like, I saw on the schedule that it was like, test pits, and I, I was going, I don't know what those are, but that sounds exciting, and if excitement to you is repeatedly going down in a pit and every time you go down into it it's like a foot to a foot and a half deeper until you're climbing down into a 10 foot deep pit carrying 60 pounds of equipment like if that sounds exciting to you then then it was exceptionally exciting um and i would like to note that i managed thanks thanks to elise i believe burning a candle for my ankle i managed to actually not resprain my ankle so and uh i only fell once because uh, the, the guy excavating the hole with the excavator um, made the, the ramp down a little too smooth one time. And it's really sandy material. So I just went whoop, and landed on my butt. And nothing was hurt by, but my dignity. But it scared the bejesus out of the excavator operator, apparently. Because after that, he was extremely conscientious about making it easy for me to get down into the pit. So that was cool. But um, that was an exciting morning, and it was a great way to start being back to work in that I feel physically destroyed and I'm completely exhausted, so I guess that's good. Um, and anyway, so that, that was what was on my mind. And now, like, actually what's really on my mind is I've been listening to uh, the, the most recent Taylor Swift album, Reputation, because basically someone in our trivia team had to... And it turned out to be me because I'm the most familiar with Taylor Swift, I guess. And um, I, I have to say it's not my favorite so far. Oh, sorry. I got to go get let my housemate. So housemate was let in and housemate had a Karina, as in that, that particular housemate, since I have two. Uh, Karina had a good job interview, so keep your fingers crossed for her and other good stuff. So I was I was complaining about Taylor Swift, wasn't I? Um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, basically I'm only a few songs in, and, and I, I kind of, like, I'm, I'm sort of trying to run the gamut of, like, some recent albums, so I got uh, Lady Gaga's album, Joanne, and I got Lord's album... Uh, melodrama, 
and Britney Spears' album Glory, and Nicki Minaj's most recent, which was the pink print. That's the one that Anaconda is on. So I was just like, I might as well just get a bunch of them so that I'll recognize some of the poppier stuff because our music expert is not really like up on pop and the biggest problem we have is, I mean, uh, other than Nikki, like Nikki is very distinctive, but there are a lot of female artists that kind of sound the same right now in pop. Um, and I feel bad for saying that, but I'm having a hard time like telling Demi Lovato apart from like other people, for example, so I should probably like listen to her album at some point. But anyway. So I just listened to, finished listening to um, Joanne and then kind of rolled directly into Reputation and in, into Taylor Swift's album and, and she's definitely suffering by comparison. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm only a few songs in and I'm just like looking at the, the sort of juxtaposition of the songs that I have gotten through, which has, I did something bad, don't blame me, and then look what you made me do. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm in this really, you know, fast forward, incredibly manipulative relationship with Taylor Swift right now, and I'm not feeling okay with it. And I'm also just, I mean, especially like, look what you made me do. Like, that song really just blows, and I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but I thought... The beat was better when, when Wright said Fred used it for being too sexy for just about everything. So that's kind of like my suffering for today. I, that's the, the thing I'm taking for the team is I'm, I'm listening to a lot of, you know, like I, I generally like pop, but I think this might be a little too much pop or maybe I'm becoming one of the olds and I, it's just not for me anymore. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to when I, I like make it through Taylor's album. And the sad thing is I'm going to have to listen to it several times so I can remember what the fuck the songs are called in conjunction with how they sound. So, yay. I, I hope my friends will be buying me beers for this. But I'm looking forward to getting to Laura's album because that's that's got to be something that I'm going to like better, I hope. Anyway, so it is the new year. And new year has, like, the norm people normally do like resolution things. Um, I did my regular year in review about my writing, which some people find useful, so I put it on my blog. If nothing else, like last year I made just shy of $10,000 with writing, which is fantastic for me, but also nearly not, not nearly enough if I want to ever support myself with this. But you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And it's good to know, like last year I finished two novels. This year I'm not gonna try to write two entire novels in the year. I'm, I'm hopefully gonna do one. And I'm sorry that you're seeing like little white things like dart around that's dust and there's like a sunbeam coming in and that's just how it is because I'm in my basement. But um, I'm gonna try to get some more screenwriting done this year and uh, just because I kind of let that fall behind last year because I decided I was gonna write two novels instead. And you know, I've got got some other stuff that I'm kind of trying to work on. And that's, like, most of my goals are basically writing-oriented. And if you're somebody who finds goals useful, like, that's awesome. And if you don't find goals useful, then don't bother with them, because fuck that. Like, it's... 2018 is going to be stressful enough, even if it is not as much of a garbage fire as 2017, I devoutly pray. Um, but kind of the other, like, goal I've got going is I, I've been really good since I got back from the UK uh, about hitting the gym. God, it looks like it's fucking snowing with all this dust in the air. It's because the furnace is running. I'm sorry. Um, it's snow. It's the most snow that I've seen since ever this last year because we haven't got any fucking snow since, what, like October? Or at least not that I've been present for. But um, anyway, so like the only other, like the non-writing related thing that I've got going is um, I need to be better about hitting the gym and watching my diet and this is not to like put pressure on people about weight or whatever it's basically just that I need to fit into my nice trousers again and uh, without you know hating myself so it's a thing that I have to do because yay I work um, a job where I make a lot less than I used to and I can no longer afford to buy new nice trousers so I just gotta work with what I got. So the trousers aren't going to get any bigger, so I got to get smaller. And that's how it works. And that's just basically my whole goal set for this year is, is that and like a lot of writing shit. Um, and hopefully you've got good stuff on the horizon. And uh, like, hopefully this is, this is going to be the year where we're really going to 
get the fight going. Not not that people were not fighting last year, but this year it's it's for, it's for pie or rather for midterm elections. So, and that's I've probably been like ranting a lot because I I had so many feelings about Taylor Swift and and none of them were really any good. But maybe I'll like some of the rest of the album, or I will at least endure it in a way that that will leave me content. So. Um, I will talk to everybody later, and, uh, have a good Wednesday, hope the, the, that your 2018 has started well, and, uh, we'll just keep going and make 2018 better than 2017, because fuck knows it couldn't be worse. Bye!